Oh! Oh! <laughs> Shit. Oh. <laughs> Comics Plus, what is going on? My name is Oxar. And I'm JJ. <laughs> What's up, Super Cross TC son? <laughs> <laughs> I, I felt like that was a like the laugh challenge. challenge and there I you go. There, yeah. I, 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 I'll switch it up. They got confused. Our, the DC was like, that's my line. And so, oh, okay, so it, okay. it, it's all good. I waited it's, for a split second there. It's okay. It was it was fine, man. It was fine. All right. Here we are once again uh, with and better finally. audios this time. <laughs> finally, right? <laughs> our, our starting time was like an uh, hour and a half ago. But ago. here we go. And these are the guys that wanted to start early. That's the funny part. But it's okay. It happens. We're at least we're here. We're ready to do it. Um, uh, so JJ, you were not with us last time. Um, yeah. so yeah, Stormfront, dude. yeah, super racist. Like, yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> yeah, murdering racist now. Yeah, yeah. I, when I watched it, I was just like, I told you guys, I told you guys, I knew this shit was gonna go down. Yeah. You know what's interesting? A little Easter egg here is the fact that the the song that Huey and um uh Starlight Star Girl no Star Starlight the song that yeah. they were singing I guess it's uh the album name is Stormfront or something like that. Oh huh. Yeah. Uh yeah. 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 I was like, wow. Okay. <laughs> the other thing so, I know is like that Stormfront piercings were SS marks, huh? Was were they? I yeah. think they were supposed to. It, 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 so it's it's supposed like, to be lightning. Lightning, but yeah. But but good the call. SS yeah, marks look yeah, like that, that too. makes sense. So. Um, I, I read someone say that, and I was like, ah, see. So they were putting some hints in there. And a whole nother thing I realized is that there actually, yeah, there is like a neo-Nazi. There's a clan um group by the name of Stormfront. Like I had no idea. Um, based out of uh Atlanta, maybe I think or um, Georgia. So. Yeah. yeah. Very interesting. So, uh, there, but there's still a lot of questions about how is Stormfront um, still alive, Lived or so how long. is she still so young? Yeah. Oh, DC and I, yeah. we came across, we stumbled across like this idea. Our theory is that she's doing force lightning, life drain type of thing, and so she's probably sucking up all the life from she's Negroes. Sucking up the life force of yep. people. Well, yeah, she's researching in the comics, and didn't the comic Stormfront also have a life? Hey, hey, stop, 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 stop. Uh, uh, nope, nope, don't. <laughs> what? You're always talking about the comics. I'm, I'm, no, no, because I'm reading it, and oh, I don't want okay. you to well, ruin the spoiler for me. <laughs> yeah, because after the conversation we had last time, and sorry, sorry, you guys, um, the last conversation we had for the previous episode, I said I'm going to get them so I can read it, because the idea is that I'm going to read it and be done before the end of this series so okay, okay. but i will do uh, if, you can, if you can say it without spoiling it cool if you think you might spoil it go <laughs> in <laughs> yamete you went all japanese on me yeah <laughs> yeah yeah it's like I'm you know, I'm to my nice side <laughs> but yes there are some things in the I'm comic sure. that happen in terms of stormfront that in theory could happen in this yeah. uh tv show i do not think they're gonna go this direction same thing with black noir uh black noir and a few other things mother's milk's origin that's yeah, the one he told me about mother's milk's yeah. origin and that was just all Ooh. kinds of creepy no, no me, no, me. Uh, okay and because and that's why i was like maybe i should that. get the comic books no but that's right. why i said maybe i should get the comic uh, books and read them so i uh, uh but i think we need well, my membership for our comics already. So my thing is like I've watched I'm I've I've watched enough of this show to kind of know how far they're gonna go and how deep they're going to go. Um, no pun intended, about like the comic <laughs> the comic origins versus the the uh the um the show. You know, for example, the, one of the biggest things with the comic is the fact that the the boys have uh Powers. compound v uh, running through them and that, that was a big uh setting up thing they weren't as strong as the seven but it put them on equal playing fields and they just went off like murking soups left and right that doesn't mm -hmm. seem to be the case as in this oh, direction yeah. right so so, so you know mother's milk's origin it, there's just i can't imagine them going that direction at all because but then again be there's a lot of weird stuff they've done so far 
I don't know. I think there will be yeah. nods. There will be nods to some of his origin if they, but mm -hmm. I honestly think they just don't have time to really explore it. Um, well, I think but, that they could do it, but really expand it, right? Like it, some of the things that came early in the comics could come in season five. You know what I mean? Like, I get it. I get what you're saying. Yeah. The show, they could, you know? I, I get what you're saying. I get that point. But I think one of the things uh, that they're really trying to focus on in this particular version of the story is the fact that the boys don't have powers. None of yeah, them do, except for the female. Yeah. There's like, a bit of an update to them as well. Right. So, you know. They're updating supposed the to story feel, right and the characters with this timeline and how we interpret you know social media interaction and things like that you kind of have to update it otherwise it literally has to be set back in the 90s even yeah. with even oh, with very 90s? true yeah right? really? they, i mean they're bringing up they're bringing up the clinton administration and the bush administration um so oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah, oh yeah like oh yeah oh yeah i mean literally, literally when homelander drops dated. his pans in the comics uh, to get his dick sucked he makes hmm. a clinton reference and you're like okay okay <laughs> okay warren that. ellis we get it um oh, before i forget one one uh theory i have and i mentioned it before was stormfront about has a train? Heart for homelander right so in the last uh, episode she's, she's, she's gonna got turn a little bit of that right Where that she's, she's like, attracted she's to him. oh oh oh, oh recruiting uh, recruiting yeah i yeah, agree recruiting but and with that, there's one thing that him and I were talking about dealing with her, her being somewhat immortal. Say she's not draining the powers of people or whatever, but considering the timeline that she was in when it first gets hinted that uh, her character was out and about in the public and the doctor that was making the compound V, what if she was one of the test subjects and even a crazier idea? She created home. She created Homelander. Homelander, because because looking at it, you need usually you need at least two samples to make something. So yeah. just like you know, if it comes to kids, you have DNA from this person, DNA from this person put together, child. Same could, thing for him. With Possibly. the with with the mother complex that looms over Homelander, so direct in this particular show, I could see them going that direction. Um, just because it's all, it's been all about home in terms of Homelander's uh, thought process this season. It's all about finding a family or some, a companionship being somewhere. And again, there's this strong amount of mother complex being so close to the teat sucking off the teat. Literally. Yeah, yeah. Um, literally. I think there's something in Homelander psychosis that you're very right. It may work that way. They might start fucking each other or, you know, uh, yeah, and making then find a, out they're related, Ooh. or something like that. I mean, let's not forget with the trailer. <laughs> he even he uh, um 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 he uh, laser eyes Stormfront in the titties and shit. So you know, for him, he's in the trailer, in the trailer, in the trailer. I don't remember. Yeah, I don't remember that. That, <laughs> that was like that was like um, every every thumbnail. She was just like, now hurry up and just do it. And he fucking laser eyes her in the titties. So oh, for him, okay. that's like warming up breast milk. For her, that's a whole nother thing. So who knows? Who knows? Yeah, well, mm. I, still, I think what DC said is very possible. I think so. But I mean, it, um, it's it's really out there. But no, no, you know, no, it's not actually really you'd be there. surprised. <laughs> based on the comic, you'd be surprised how close yeah. that is. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's funny because I do see a lot of Captain America references as well um, oh, in, in this in the sense with the, you know, the whole super soldier serum uh, creating the super soldier. And then on top of that, the whole idea of Captain America is outdated. He's a man out of time. Homelander, in some mm. sense, is the same way in terms of this patriotism, America mm. first and all this other thing. And, you know, Stormfront made a good point. She has evil intentions, but she had a good point. You're like, look, you're trying to get the He's whole world to love you, but I got a five million uh, fucking uh, my five million army ready to roll out. Like, which one's yeah. better? A bunch of people that love He's you or a bunch of 50, uh, 51 million warriors. fans. I got yeah. five million. Yeah. Uh, Soldier. Warrior, yeah, yeah, yeah. Soldier. Which so. one's which one's more effective? Exactly. So very interesting. All right. Well, uh, I think that's pretty much it. Um, in terms of yeah. setting up for the next episode here, um, uh, it'll be interesting. That, the other, the only little uh, small things that were mentioned previous or before JJ mentioned that A Train mm -hmm. 
Maybe uh, Homelander is oh, going to go against A Train. He's already been kicked out, right? And being replaced. Yeah. Um, let's see, what's her name? Maeve. Uh, no, 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 no. Mariko? No, Kumiko. Yeah. It, she was going after Stormfront, but she's been deterred from from doing what she needs to because of the Frenchman. Right. But yeah. Uh, who did we miss? The Deep. The ah, uh, the Church mm. is like a third power right in this story that they're going to try to overthrow things yeah. information that they have is just way too accurate yep and mm -hmm. yeah what akasan just said so do you think they're so separate we got them, i thought they were part of that maybe the boys. i would say they're I, I, i'm i i'm gonna bank on a fact that they're a different entity um i mean yeah, they're they're be, part of the same the overall branch but they have a different direction of what they're trying yeah. to do so yeah their, their directive yeah, is yeah. very different and right. they may be looking at his vault is corrupt um, uh, compared to their views. So yep. to mm. redo stuff yep. and Stormfront, the way she's acting and like, maybe she knew. we should bring yeah. her over. Yeah. Which will really make things creepy. I am super pumped for this episode. Like, yeah. ah. Well, let's, so let's get, get it on. Me. Full reaction is available, guys, on Patreon. Make sure you're supporting the channel, supporting the yeah. site. It makes uh, little get-togethers like this. All right. Uh, your latest reaction to uh, Episode 5, Season 2 of The Boys. The Boys. The boys. Starts now. <laughs> oh, shit. This is Zack Snyder. Yeah. <laughs> this is this fast. I'm gay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The fuck, Josh Whedon writes this shit. <laughs> <laughs> that was horrible. That horrible was right. The Josh rewrite really sings. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys catch that? Yeah, I caught it. <laughs> that that's pretty funny. That's good. The fuck is this? I'm guessing a new soup, and then Homelander is ordered to take him out. You see an Earthman? Oh, how was that? And he killed someone behind him, of course. So what, they're all starving, but one of them's got a fucking cell phone? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm here when you want me. Oh, we know what that's all about. Oh, and it's a fucking Homelander symbol on the P's, too. <laughs> You're always not my canary. Mm -hmm. Goodbye, Huey. God damn. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. His world is over, as far as he's concerned. So called eat my dick. <laughs> he was nice. <laughs> oh shit, they got him? That's great. Oh my goodness, it's Matt Parkman. And there's the bad news. There's no way we can restore the grid. <laughs> guys. Yeah, it's basically the first Avengers movie. What the fuck? Girls get it done. Oh my god. <laughs> Former seven member of the deep surprised every what week when he married right uh, yeah yeah wow <laughs> so dumb they can fix his image yeah yeah cats are spreading fast oh wow oh, not fast enough oh oh right oh right me boy yes I heard about this yep it's his dog from the comic thank you anything else you'd like to share <laughs> come oh, on JJ Dude, isn't that from like the first Episode issue of the comic? Yeah. Oh. So A Train's still in the movie then, huh? That's good. Even though he's out of the seven. But people grow. Oh yeah, she's the nut job, right? Like skeleton. Yeah. Mm. Oh shit! Oh! Mm. Oh! Oh! Mm. Oh! Yeah. oh shit. Damn. God damn. Now that yeah, is face off. That is face off. Wow. Yeah, that face off looked amazing. Holy Crazy shit. special effects. Oh boy. You told me you were bringing company. <laughs> you. Oh. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. No, that's black. Yeah, that's black noir. Oh, that's black noir. He's like, on second thought, let's all hang out. Actually, I will stay. For being so old, she sure sounds, yeah, really young, right? She's got to stick with the times, right? Yeah. Someone was so upset they leaked it to the press. Mm. Can you imagine how angry uh, that person is? Uh, Whatever they are. Oh. I'd be grateful to have a mom like Donna. Oh. oh. Ho, ho, ho. Yep. 
But our empress isn't that the dude got his dick frozen off? <laughs> frozen off? Yeah. Hashtag brave man. <laughs> brave. Oh my god. <laughs> Why am I part of this? We are going with a polished, tailored. Look. Wow. Two feminine women in a relationship. Two feminine women. <laughs> What the fuck? When they're in a clear-cut gender role relationship. Wow. Oh, like Ellen, they threw it in there. I can't protect you if you leave. So he can probably be hearing everything right now, too. Yep. yep. <laughs> That's the same face as the dog. Yeah. <laughs> I think he's just getting rid of everything. Or trying to piss him off to do something. Who are we going to mm -hmm. murder next? Yep. Where's the next massacre? Oh, this dude. Oh, he doesn't know what the hell you're saying. I don't understand <laughs> what you're saying because you won't teach me. Fuck you. Excuse me, sir. This is a church. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what is this? Full of possibilities. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what? I used to be angry. Oh my <laughs> god. Uh, uh, hey, dude. <laughs> 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 so join us at the church. Oh God! And be the person you were always meant to be. Hey, it's not Hugh Jackman. Oh God! Yeah, I thought it was Hugh Jackman for a second too. There we no, go. I think Adrian's gonna die soon. I was a long time ago. Especially with this girl here. Started letting all kinds of people oh. in. Ooh. Oh shit! Garbage. Ooh. You have a problem? Of course not. Why would you say oh, that? She's. A demon. Yeah. Notice that Bot Studios looks a lot like Marvel Studios. It does. It's a, that's not even Homeland. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. It sounds like BPS so much. Hey, dude. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh boy. Thank you. Let's see if he can turn this around. You would know that freedom isn't free. Comes at a price. <laughs> you don't speak for us. Ooh. Oh shit. Stormfront. How many gonna people think he's gonna help. kill? Oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh shit. shit. Oh fuck. He did it. Shit. <laughs> fuck. Oops. He's just thinking it, right? Yeah. Ah, oh. oh. oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, that would have been a game changer if he actually did it. Wow. Yeah. Fuck. Damn, that wow. happy. I thought he did it. Yep. Right? That that was, was it was convincing. It was convincing. Scene yeah. to watch. Affordable alternative to privatized healthcare. <laughs> <laughs> I'm down with it. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. You know bad shit's gonna happen when you hear a violin start playing. <laughs> mm -hmm. Better there than here. <laughs> what? My mean <laughs> queen. Photoshop fake. <laughs> So see, she is helping him. He's checking out her titties. Yeah, because she wants to control. He needs someone else powerful on her side. Yeah, of course. So why not? So why not manipulate the weak-minded? Because right now, he ain't there. So does Black Noir know that they know that they know? <laughs> <laughs> he probably has an idea. Yeah. Uh, what oh damn! No. I kind of freaked me out. Yeah, what's gonna happen? Always happen in the middle of a conversation of something important. Get distracted by something. Doesn't oh, really matter. Egg. Oh, he's there. I kind of like it though. It's like Jurassic Park or some shit. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Oh. Oh shit. See, Black Noir could probably kill all of them easily, but he's playing it smart still. Well, let's not forget. He's probably regenerating. Oh shit. Oh, <laughs> let's go. He's the one. Yep. God damn it. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, he's <laughs> just gonna get everyone killed, like you said. He can't wow. shoot worth damn. One backhand knocks out Butcher. Damn. Fuck. Noir has just Wow. Fucking 
We, oh no, terror! I no. told you. I no, told you. Terror. I the dog's gonna die. No. I reckon you might want to keep it that way. Smart. Yeah, but I knew Noir you wouldn't still get shit. fucked up. Yeah. Uh, what? Mr. Butcher. Oh shit! Oh. Oh damn! You think what Noir is wow. a wow? Skin of their teeth. Yeah. Wow. You really have those pictures? It's like fuck. Of course I do. Oh, <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. You fucking uh, made that shit up, right? Smart though. Well, this is food for your soul. <laughs> 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 what do you think I'm a piece of shit? Fuck yeah. <laughs> fuck yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? Why? I, well, I already knew that was gonna happen. Why? She's in Stormfronts? Yeah, damn. She has. Yeah, been right? Stormfronts. How many booty shots are we going to get? <laughs> I think Josh Whedon directed this episode. <laughs> you so got writing up. credits and everything. Oh. Oh, wow. boy. So basically, what you're saying is A Train was technically cyborg? Yeah, basically. In this iteration? Yeah. Special kind of poison flower. Mm. Huh? Going against your own people? Damn. Don't be racist. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell me it's all oh, shit. Yeah. He's such a good actor the way he's moving. Like, look at yeah. me. Look at me. Body language, amazing. Well, what are you ever going to do to repay me? Mm -hmm. Oh, here it comes. Ducking the yeah. shit out of you. Yeah. That aura. Uh, he's going to kill. He's going to have to kill someone. Perfect casting. <laughs> For the dog? Yeah, it looks exactly like Terror. Oh, well, yeah. For the comic, yeah. Terror? <laughs> Homelander doll. Fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> oh my god, he's going to town. You can hear it. Yeah. <laughs> god. Oh comes. shit. Oh shit. Let's yeah. go. Let's go. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> Called it. I knew With it. Magic. Ooh, fuck. Oh shit. She's stronger? Do it. Oh, you want to. Yeah. Oh, that's what you're talking about. Okay. Oh, <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. What the fuck? Snap. That would be kind of cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Like vampire Diaries, just suddenly snap her neck. Yeah. See if she regenerates. Oh, oh shit! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I had a dream about this. What the fuck? Oh, uh, she's pushing his head down. Uh, yeah, I saw a bush. That was a lot of hair. Oh, Yikes. shit. <laughs> yeah. Nice. It's just weird. When they're in the oh, air, it just looks so wow. awkward. Wow. Uh, okay. Woo. That might be the second most unattractive sex scene I've ever seen <laughs> on TV. That's, yeah, that's, that's probably just... how... Uh... That's a, it's definitely a top Bob, there. Bob Sapp sex goes. I'm joking. <laughs> okay, even outside of the sex thing, that oh. just seemed as awkward as Ray and Kylo Ren kissing in the last yeah. movie. I'm just like, yeah, that was... what? <laughs> no, I mean it made I mean, sense. It's not it's that just... I don't get it. Yeah, but it's still awkward. It was just it was it was hard to watch I... that. Yeah. I, I don't know. I didn't think it was awkward. I thought it fit their character. Oh, you were turned well. on by it, so you you enjoyed it. Oh, dude, that's why you can't see oh, my yeah, lower yeah, half. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 you do it. Oh yeah, why? <laughs> is, that, is that me? Soup. Is that me? <laughs> what? Is that your impersonation to be there? No, that, oh, that's okay. just my imagining of who would be turned on by. That was awkward. Yeah. yeah, you go at it, you two white superheroes. <laughs> Well, it Homelander's was, not really racist, but he's got like tendencies of that. I he, think he has a superiority. He's, he's, he has a superiority complex, right? Definitely, right. So he looks at uh, people who are not up to his standard in general less than. It wouldn't matter what their race is, um, but power. you've got Stormfront. That's just a whole different kind of animal. Yeah, that's a whole. Now, yeah. did she absorb the power? So you know, like um, Bishop from so. X Men, you know yeah. he can absorb power and then redirect it. Do you think, or like Rogue? Do you think he no. 
that she no. absorbed his power and that's why she's able to regenerate? What? No, nah, I'm going or has, that's or she or she just has regenerative powers like um okay, uh, Kumiko and Homelander. I'm going with uh the theory that uh somehow some way she's she's got yeah, some form of no, that they have some sort of mixture of uh whatever yeah just exactly what you're just actually what you are saying uh, is uh partially what mm. i'm thinking is they got okay. essentially whatever is going whatever is in black noir whatever's in uh kumiko and then stormfront has it and then homelander has the most um homelander has the most uh the most potent uh, version of yeah the most potent most, most potent or maybe most perfected version of it like that so um i think that's I, what it is you think so i think stormfront tops uh homelander and everything like she's a real og really? well and no see i think she has real lightning OG, she real has, OG, but mm, right like she, but it's like she threw him something against over the time. wall he was he was pissed off at right. first no he, 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 he was turned shocked on, but he, was he didn't pissed realize off. He was like, that she could do it yeah. but Ma queen Maeve can do the same thing she yeah, she's true quite strong and she can do the same thing to him but i think I it's think more of power faces his no her power strength, level is though. definitely not on the same as homelanders though but yeah and, you but, know, but i'm saying as far as, as far as strength being able to throw him against the wall like that queen Maeve can do that but i think in this case he was more turned on by the fact that she didn't shy away from doing it right it's like that you're gonna do what i want you to do kind of awesome right. so you know they're Play, yeah, definitely. The rough sex. There, yeah. That that turned both of them on. They're both. Oh sure, yeah, but I think by that, I think but, he got not just shocked by her power, but I think yeah, he was, he like, was taken by surprise. If anything, yeah, it's, it's, it's the same thing. What hasn't happened? Well, I mean, like he he was, but I also think like it wasn't like oh, I was taken by surprise, so that's why you got it. I think she has the power to take him down. From from what I thought was, she has the flight. She has the strength. She has the lightning. So she has all, everyone's powers. It's a good question. Um, mm -hmm. Who knows? Who I, I knows? Um, he was over time, we, we, maybe he's a more perfected version of her. Because the because the other thing is, I you know, keep that. in well, well, keep in mind, keep in mind that we've actually never really seen Homelander hurt ever in this series in in the TV show. We've never yeah, seen yeah. him bleed. We've seen him, yeah, we, we've seen him dirty. That's it. Right. But have That's we seen Stormfront it. bleed? Yeah, I mean, well, well she got she, lasered. She just had right a hole there. in her chest, right? Oh, uh, she, or it's, uh, she, she got burnt up. She didn't but get you know, hurt at the skin all. was the, no. She just said she literally said to um, Homelander, "Oh God, it hurts oh, like that." It just, it just fucking hurt. Like so, it hurts. Yeah. Like she feels it, but the, like that's the thing is like with um, Homelander, we just don't really know. We've never really seen yeah. him ever get hurt. <laughs> like True. so True. that but that's I would I, say someone with the same type of power could possibly hurt him yeah. so the stormfront is the closest we've seen so far not including his son mm. but i think correct, correct worst correct. case scenario his son would be able to hurt him oh yeah possibly yeah yeah possibly who knows i mean that that's also the thing they play around with like the it's always a little hard when they start dealing with the um superman goku sort of complex with the half breeds like um they always try to make it seem like there's something special about giving 50 percent up of your superpower to be human so but somehow some way gohan is stronger than goku and whatever like that you know and all the oh, half breeds fans that's because his mom wars. is chi chi <laughs> You can't, like, you can't yeah. win those words, man. I I don't even get into that. <laughs> but that that's a that's a whole other thing. Uh, okay, so yeah. So uh, what were you gonna tell Aka? You were like, I'll tell you after. Were you talking about how A Train was a uh, cyborg? Yes. Yeah, okay. So what were you going the, the issue going on with Justice League with the reshoots with Joss Whedon? There are some things that went on on set that weren't appropriate for a lot of the cast members and one of the people that has been pretty active about trying to get uh, the powers that be to realize what was going on and speak up and fix it is Ray Fisher. Who played oh. Cyborg. And Jason Emma Momoa has even yeah. said that, hey, yeah. you know, what he's trying to tell you is, is legit. The appropriate people need to step up and, you know, take action. So, so what yeah. happened with him would be A-Train being kicked out or being abused on set being told you have to do this or 
you know, these bad things happen to you. That's what happened with Ray. Mm. And they're and loosely so, talking about it with him. Right. And <laughs> him the meaning for, Adrian. In the original okay. version of the Zack Snyder's Justice League, um, uh, Cyborg was actually supposed to be the heart of the Justice League movies uh, yeah, from what we've been world. told. Yeah, which, which you would, would, have, would, made more you would have never seen that. Uh, you would have never gotten that uh, based on the Justice League movie that was uh, released that was this Frankenstein yeah. movie that was um, written by Zack Snyder and Josh Whedon. Or Josh Whedon took over with major reshoots. So that's what the, the whole kind major of game Major reshoots there, and mustaches. Uh, so Cy- Cyborg was almost essentially eliminated from that movie. So that's why uh, Dante was talking about the A-Train. It was like pretty much having him thrown out of uh, his own movie like that. Um, yeah, that makes but, but I thought that was, I thought that was actually... Hmm? AJ, er, uh, A-Train was a cyborg. A-Train. And I was like, what? Nah, nah, nah. But the no, no, no. It's it's Justice League, I'm like, ah, uh, yeah. He is the but only it, black character on the team. And yeah. his character basically gets pushed to the side or know, things yeah. happen to his character behind the scenes that actually affect what's going on on screen. And that's exactly what happened with and, uh, Ray Fisher but and you Justice give it League. To how he, it's what he's been trying to explain to people. Huh? Yeah, but you got to give it to A-Train. He, you know, it's always the he black guy the that team? dies first, but this time it was the Invisible Man. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. But uh, okay. you know, uh, okay. speaking he's of which, that. he's uh, got that up on them. But speaking of which, um, you know, props to A Train for essentially trying to do a, the kind of look out for his interests at this point. Like, yeah, he could have become kind of a drama queen or what have you not, and really d- did it. But you know, yep. it's an int- yeah, it's an interesting thing because I think those in the industry also have been there at one point in time and uh mm-hmm. when there's a, like something you don't really want to do scenes you won't, don't want to really want to do and you know um directors and decision. producers yeah you got to make that <laughs> yeah. decision so um you know i'm proud of a train in that sense for just go ahead, going ahead doing those lines and just getting the fuck out like that it's it's uh uh we'll see what happens hopefully hopefully there'll be uh We'll see. This isn't the last we see of A Train. Hopefully, there'll be more that will come from there. But yeah, even the body I, doubles they used was great. Yeah, because the they also did that. They also spot. did that in Justice League as well. So, yeah. Like, oh yeah. Oh. Yeah. So it's oh, like yeah, a lot yeah. of the things that happen in um, Justice League, and then like he mentioned, like set pieces and things seem a lot like the, the Avengers, first yeah. Avengers movies. They're yeah. taking yeah. these bits and pieces of what's been going on and putting it together, and it's kind of poking fun at it because, well, these things happen. It was kind of silly. It could have yeah. been done a different way, but this is the way they did it because that's what corporate wanted. So this is what you get I out of that. It. And looking at this, I I think A-Train may end up going in the direction of the church. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, no, Never. sorry. Taking out of that. Um, <laughs> in the direction of the church only because um, there's a question about it. And it's like, out of all the things, why would he actually be looking right. at it? Cause there's oh, no yeah. need to look at it. So that's just like when they kept mentioning Fresca all the time, it's like, why are they mentioning Fresca? Cause it's branding. So the church uh, yeah, yeah. already has the deep has, yeah. uh, what's his name? Eagle. So having a train go over there, considering that he's out of the seven, the seven is basically falling apart and they're trying to revamp it. Um, mm. You have queen Maeve that's also going over there for yeah. her own reasoning but basically but she, she needs to get help too yeah but well yeah that's what she's planning yeah. but she needs help and for her she's like we have to take down homelander and the only way to do that or to have a chance is to have as many people Suits. with you even if they're taking the l <laughs> yeah. to help out because there's no way she can do it on her own and no one else in the seven or, or what's left of it is going to help her um without having something else. So you need another power that's not bought to help you and back you. And that's the church right now. So you've got Queen Maeve, the Deep, Eagle, and possibly A-Train is on his way over. Possibly. And the Seven, if they're going to keep the Seven, they need, what is that, three more recruits as well. Or no, they have the other A-Train guy, right? So if right. They keep they, them, they, 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 what they was his name? Um, Shockwave? Whatever. Yeah, Shockwave. Yeah, something yeah. Bad. You know, having a A train replacement, eh, whatever. But I look at it as the more, only right? people left. The only people left would be Homelander and Black Noir. That's there from 
the original group. After that, then you have uh, Stormfront, oh, who's Star. basically manipulating um, Homelander. And Starlight. Uh, Starlight. Uh, but Starlight, she's literally right on the borderline. You know, she wants to help Billy and stuff like that, but that puts her life in danger. But if yeah, she but stays in the seven, seven, she could kind of not control it, but kind of have an idea of what's going on and where they're going. So she can try and either help prevent a situation as much as she can before, you know, it going out of hand or bail when she can and bring more light to it. Because Storm I, Stormfront knowing that she leaked the stuff means she's not safe in the seven either. So no matter what she does, she's not safe because you got Homelander hunting that hunting her down and now Stormfront. So it's like keep your friends close, keep your enemies closer. Yeah, but what I does think she do? She doesn't have anywhere that, to go. She's not going to be able to go back to Billy and the group. Like it's already cut. She, she yeah. She's so the other now. choice would be the she church. Can't. No, she wouldn't go to the church. I don't think. Or Why Homelander, not? and then wouldn't let her. That's the other thing. Well, I mean, Queen Maeve is pretty much going to the church. So it's and like I think Homelander. Homelander well, no, I would say, I would say you, you, you're looking them. at optics. So the thing that was that or that hurt Homelander in the beginning of the episode. Were the optics, you know, he took care of a terrorist, but someone got hurt and he was a bit nonchalant about it. So he was down nine points. You know, mm. optics of how they handle situations is really important. So them going over to the church, the church handles a lot of that stuff. Think about what happened with Deep. Cleaning up but I wouldn't say I wouldn't say Queen Maeve image. is going toward the church because you already saw her um, immediate re yeah. immediately reject the book and uh, she's just out there just trying yeah, to get like, back on home yeah. yeah, yeah, but, but she went in. A, he's just, she's just church. using That's the deep. The That's all. The church Not the help. church. Yeah. 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 Well, you but know, you know how having uh, a deep, he, he has the power of the church behind him, so kind of yeah. using the church for her own good. But you know Not how necessarily joining the church, there and just lasered everyone. Right. I think that's yeah, it was a scene. Oh, yeah. I definitely for sure, for yeah. sure. So like, what I think is going to happen is the church is going to come, and there's going to be the church, the the Homelander, and then there's going to be like a couple in betweens. But Homelander is going to be like, "Hey, I got to get rid of this church. They're gathering troops that can screw me up." And then the problem is the normal people, the citizens, and that. And that's where that's right. foreshadowing. He's like, "I'm just going to have to kill everyone then." Right. Because yeah, it seems like the only person that's there that can kind of possibly tame him or uh, be a stress relief, so to speak, is yeah. Stormfront. But the other thing is she's manipulating him and he's yeah, he's either smart enough to see it and not care, which would be really interesting twist in the next episode or two, or he's dumb as a brick and doesn't yeah. know. Dude, it is but it is a really beautiful think, girl. Oh, man, well, yeah. it is really interesting <laughs> to see um sort of uh Homelander's deterioration and his of his psyche mm -hmm. in this particular season because season one really had him as you know, somebody was kind of uh, for the most part uh, put together, calm, collective on the front on the front point of view. But he did have that mother complex, and we saw his weakness on that yeah. particular side. Yeah. And so, at the end of season one, when he kills um, Homegirl, um, I thought that was it. I thought he was just going to be unleashed yeah. at this point. But we're starting to see him kind of take a back seat in the fact that a lot of people are putting him in check. The public's putting him in check. People around him, yeah. the boss, and it's we don't boss. see him as as in control as we once assumed so um i kind of like it because it's a it's a big different it's a, a different departure from the comics um which also saw a uh, homelander out of control but still in this like yeah man child type of way but uh, or right. more like an adolescent type of way whereas we're seeing like particularly a very adolescent uh, man child um, in Homelander in the TV version. Mm -hmm. But um, like DC Sun was saying, it'll be interesting to see if Homelander really understands that Stormfront is playing him too, whatever her plan may be. I did think that was really interesting when she had that confront <laughs> confrontation with um, Starlight. Right. And, you know, she's like, I thought you're, you know, you can, how can you betray your own people? And she's like, what, you mean white people? She's like, no, yeah. soups, don't be racist. <laughs> I thought, I thought yeah. that was actually kind of interesting compared to the flashback we saw of her uh, literally calling some black dude out and beating, uh, killing him, uh, beating him to death and yeah. such. So, and um, the A train because she was right, not subtle. 
at all. Right? So I, I, yeah, I, I so, thought that line there was kind of weird, but at the same time, I'm I, like, okay, so I there's more levels perfect. to what yeah, she... I, I yeah. thought it was perfect, because she looks yeah, at it, it as, perfect. okay, from her standpoint, um, more maybe more than likely, white people in this universe are more in tune with how she sees things or how she wants to see things and everyone else is. So you know how we're talking about Homelander, Homelander looking at people in general being somewhat beneath them. He has respect to a point right. for them, right. but they're beneath him because they're not a superpower. For her, yeah. like that, but more skin deep version of him. I agree. So mm -hmm. her saying that to Starlight actually didn't seem strange at all. I was like right on point because She's a lot smarter than she lets on. Right. So it's like, totally. I agree. With the too. things that have been going on, she actually knew. So it's like, okay, one, how does she know that? And then the second thing is, what else does she know? Because yeah, she's been like, yeah. laying these little breadcrumbs around, yeah. picking at people, getting them to kind of expose themselves. Yeah. She's using that information for a reason. And essentially, uh, back. right. Well, there, and, mm. and there's more of that coming in uh, based on the person that she was on the phone with. I can't really, yeah. I can't say, I, I know who it is um, because I already, uh, when they announced it officially who he's playing, but I can't really s mention it because it, it's a huge, it, spoiler. it's a huge spoiler for the series. Uh, not even that, but the, I, I think I kind of know where this is going because they've already oh, talked man, about brother. this issue. No, no, they've no already, don't, don't even joking, ask. Joking. It's a joke. Yeah, yeah. They've are, so they've already, so uh, for those that are with me on this page, and I'm just kind of speaking to the audience here, uh, yeah. for those that know who he's playing, uh, specifically with that lighter and everything, um, uh, what was the I going to say? The Human Torch? Um, you're close, but um, they have already mentioned it. Lamp several. There you go. Okay, yes, there you go. So, yeah. Uh, do you remember who he is, Josh? Lamplighter. Oh shit! No, he you don't know. He huh? remembers now. No. Nah. <laughs> All right. So. So okay, okay. So, uh, Lamplighter is. They've already mentioned it in in the show already. Wait, yeah. I think. The TV version two episodes ago, right? Because there right. was, a and he was accident. he was in the right, and people. Oh, got killed. okay, never mind. No, so they haven't they haven't said exactly what happened. Um, uh, in no, the they didn't go into detail. I mean, in the they TV version, alluded that yeah. he, they alluded that he, whatever he was doing at the time, innocent people died. Okay, and that's so why I'm not gonna, yeah. All right, he's so I no can't, longer there. I can't go any further yeah, than yeah, that because yeah, it, yeah, it's, it's the hugest. There, it's the. Hugest but they mentioned him in a previous episode then. Right, and he was also yeah, that's that. yeah. and he, he was in season one for a yeah, quick second. They mentioned second him, but you don't see him. He essentially okay. he's the person Starlight replaced in the first episode when yeah. Starlight was joining. Oh. It's because Lamplighter was retiring, but in the comics, oh. it's the it's the biggest turning point of the entire. Uh, a part of the show so it's kind of interesting how they're doing that but uh fucking bobby iceman from the x-men is now playing lamp yeah. lighter. That, i thought that was pretty which is dope. funny he goes oh, from that's cold to hot. Yeah. yeah that's who he was yeah that's what i was like oh huh, it's iceman yeah. uh and last point uh billy um this was actually a very good episode for billy and his family they uh they took yeah. Some very notable nods from the Billy Butcher comic, uh, which I explained to uh, DC Sun last episode, um, and I thought how they it, it, they had a lot of nods there. The father uh, was still dying of cancer and not fast enough. He was a fucking asshole, um, and uh, Terror was in there. So I'm glad Terror's still alive as well. Yeah. Because um, that would have been that would have sucked if they killed his ass. But I love the fact that that they yeah, kept that command in terror fuck fuck it like that was great <laughs> that was so yeah. good that was Terrible. great I, uh, yeah I, I i find it interesting how the season and the previous episode you see homelanders my I, I will call it home life basically everything around him was falling apart yeah and the mm -hmm. same thing pretty much happened to billy um but billy is finding that he has people that care right. he has a family right. and things so it's kind of like a new lease on life, a reason for fighting again, where Homelander has lost that, 
and he he's lost as an individual and the only thing he can do right now to cope with it is stress eat so to speak you think so i I mean you guys Uh, both mentioned that homelander has become weak but i actually think that he's become stronger in ways by being manipulated because she's gave Uh, him the confidence to drop the mom now he doesn't need to go wait hold on go ahead jj understanding social media one more time what was the point sorry of what, how he's oh, was, become you guys stronger. Were, oh, because even though she's manipulating him, she's giving him the confidence boost he needed. He doesn't need the mom anymore. He went and killed the his booty call with his mom. Uh, <laughs> she's teaching him like oh, how to use right. social yeah, media, how to become that. Hmm. Yeah, no, 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 I was like, oh yeah, I forgot about that. Oh. Yeah, yeah, both of them. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, yeah. yes, she's mm. manipulating him. But she is also making him stronger, I think. Better, stronger mentally and well, I, I prepared think, for shit to hit the fan. That's an interesting yeah, maybe uh, maybe not outlook, uh, maybe point, not uh, so much uh, stronger, but more aware. Like he's and been having people do everything point. for him and her him looking at her and her somewhat mentoring him and hey look, you need to update how you look at things. You need to be more aware of things around you stop letting this person and that person tell you what to do when you could do it on your own that part i think is making him more aware of what he needs to do not just to stay relevant but to still have a purpose because since she came on the scene his purpose is blurred Mm. um a lot so the only direction that he sees right now at least by the end of this episode is her because everyone else around him has been, you know, yes men and yes women and yeah. BSing, hiding things, yeah. lying to him. Where she's like, I don't really care, but this is what I do to get by. And this is what I, I'm going to do. You can follow suit and learn something or you can stay back there on the bookshelf. So mm. and, he's and like, I got to learn something. Here's another tidbit too. You don't think for joining his team that he would look into who's joining. I think that he probably knows a little bit about her. Not everything. Maybe not everything. Well, yeah, right, but he I know he used to. Bit. Right. He but that that that's the whole thing is the fact that he didn't he didn't sign off on Storm, he didn't Stormfront. Uh, Max hired uh Stormfront and which is True, but after, interesting in itself. You would, wouldn't you? Afterwards, after. I well, don't you know, honestly, point, I don't think he cares. I don't think enough. he cares. You're right. He doesn't care enough yeah, to really No, it work. could be that. I'm saying though could me right on 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 the homelander is smarter than he leads on since that would be cool yeah if he looked her up and it's like hey look she's gonna try and do these things but i'm just gonna fake it and let her think that that's what's going on and then when i'm ready move on well even um but the dumber thing is he doesn't care if he looked it up and he was like okay weird she's liberty she's like however many years old Okay, I'll keep an eye on this girl. Not like yeah, oh, but, she, but her remember, history. But that, that Liberty stuff has been buried, though. Yeah, know? no one knew she was right. Liberty. That's why they said in this episode that um, when uh, uh, not Billy Huey was talking that she's been moved around by Vought multiple times over the years in hiding and changing yeah. how she looks and things of that nature. So no one knows that she's Liberty other than. The lady they went and talked right. to, true Max. Maybe one other person in the office, but for the most part, Max. Like a right. very small hey. handful of people, and then mm. now this. So, Speaking uh, of that one know. scene where he picked up everything by listening, always has me thinking: like, how far he's does he listening, have to he's be listen- away to right. miss one conversation? Right, and that's what I mean. Is so, like maybe but, he so, overheard, maybe right, he knows a lot you- more than he's saying. I was going to address that for a second. It's like, it's not like Homelander chooses to listen in when he wants to. I mean, this is brought up with Superman all the time. It's like people be talking shit about Superman all the time, but only really if Superman really is honing into it. Really wants to hone into it. Like he's listening to everything. I wanted to uh, say what you will about Superman Returns, but I thought one of the dopest scenes of um, of, uh, Superman Returns was just Superman floating in space and observing the entire Earth and literally yeah. needing to pick and choose 
who he's going to help. And he's like scanning yeah. the entire world. And, but that's noisy. Exactly. And man of steel did a great job in the fact when uh, Clark was All first getting his powers as a kid, he, he couldn't shut up everybody. It was just so yeah, noisy for him. So, um, you know, same, same thing with Homelander is Homelander chooses to zone into something he wants but to, that, but it's not proven? like he's going to be what? Is huh? that proven, or are you thinking that based on him being a parody? Well, well, that would make more sense because otherwise, no one in the seven would be alive because they would just right. be evaporated almost immediately. Because you know they talk about him behind his back all the time, and he's not that far. It's like your boy. But he's also business heard. savvy. That's what I mean. Now he's getting a little tech, uh, getting a little more smart. Like he, he could kill a train and just. <laughs> But then it looks bad, right? Right. And then well, I would say like, like, that too. That, that as well. Yeah, that too. That, but that, I also think. And he's like a waste of time. It was not worth his time. So you could kill And, you know, and also we have to think about it. goes back to that other episode of when they were all undercover or, or when Huey and Starlight should have been undercover and such. Uh, uh, but it, it, yeah. it's sometimes the stories need to lead themselves to plot convenience to, to make the yeah. plot move yeah. forward. If Homelander's yeah. just listening to everything, it's just like, okay, yeah, well, no and, but it, I also agree with the point that you're making is the fact that, you know, if Homelander would, if, if, it would be easy for Homelander to come in and just murk everybody, but we mm -hmm. don't have a story after that. So it's right. like, it's done. <laughs> it's like Story's over in like two episodes, you know, he's a terror after that. Um, so, so that, other him him question, listening but... to Starlight and Stormfront in the trailer would be interesting later on down the line to see. Right, I thought that was kind of interesting. Too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the way he walks in, it's like he heard some of that. Didn't right, he? that's what I was wondering. Right, yeah. yeah. It was just too close. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. Was, and um, the look on Stormfront's face is she knew he was out there. That's why she was having that conversation with um, Starlight. To basically get her to uh, let it be known she did something she wasn't supposed to do as extra proof. Maybe that's name. also the reason and she she was playing off the whole "don't be racist" thing because yeah, like, it's like Stormfront Star Homelander's like, look, I might be evil, but I'm not Corrupt. a fucking racist. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's like everybody <laughs> could die. I got a line. So I real got quick a line before I forget, yeah. the guy, the cop's head that blew up. Do we have proof who that was yet? The uh, a couple the, episodes uh, back, the, the um, what was it? A FBI is that proven? Oh yeah, yeah, nothing yet, nothing yet. Right. Um, no. We still yeah. have that mystery. You wanted right? to be the fly, don't you? <laughs> no, no, I just because you I mentioned just heard that, that several rumor, times in the like, previous episode. Yeah. Well, let's not forget. Let's not forget that um, the one thing that uh, uh, we're. It bugs uh, me. I want to know who it is. Well, the one thing that we haven't uh, acknowledged yet is the fact that, um, yo, Max is ma making moves, um, Black Ops moves with uh, Black Noir. That was awesome. The fact yeah. that mm. he put a webcam on his helmet and that that was yeah. it. So we now we know because at first it was it, it seemed like it was a personal thank you, thank thing. Like Black Noir, we saw yeah, him but... crying and shit. And he was like, nah, I want to fuck up Billy. But nah, nah, nah. Max handed down that mission to him. And that's all yeah. that, uh, that mattered. I thought that was it's great. True. So question for yeah. you too that camera do you think black noir in the tv version is somewhat of an android uh, mm. i thought that for a second you, you know like uh, no. i don't want to say terminator because that's a little i know much. what you're saying well, like, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, like that, android's right? good like dragon ball yeah he was android, being controlled yeah. by max i thought it was uh, max or, or using yeah, him controlled by completely him. Yeah, right. so it's like, and then he doesn't it's like, oh, pass him the phone back, and he's like, now I'm fooling everyone, right? Like, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, yeah. know. I, I wouldn't, wouldn't doubt I, it. Uh, yeah, I like wouldn't doubt that. Yeah. But I hope not. I like well, if he is it black would, noir. Would make it easier to replace him when half his body has been destroyed from yeah. the explosion. In theory, yeah. in theory, based in upon theory. our conversations for this TV show, what we've talked about, mm -hmm. and the fact that Stormlander, uh, St oof, Stormfront. Stormlander. <laughs> is that what we're shipping? Is that what we're shipping from now on? Stormlander. Um, yeah. <laughs> Homefront. Um, it, uh, St Stormfront. Homelander. The female. Uh, who, am I, who else am I missing? The gecko. Uh, anybody else? Um, but regenerative uh, type people. Uh, yeah. Black mm. Noir. They're it very it may be true it might be something to do with vaught and yes uh black noir might be the perfect clone or he might be um like he might be like 
another version um of like whatever Stormfront is uh, and what Home there is or like like some sort of like scale version he might be like the Frankenstein version that they couldn't make happen and then finally they uh, figured like a defective out. clone and decided hey look yeah, yeah, we'll yeah, 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 use yeah, him for yeah. these things instead exactly exactly and then um they found a better version of a way to because re- let's mm-hmm. not forget like the whole thing with homelander is the fact that the reason he worked out so well is because they they got him from the embryo to birth and raised them but yeah, that's also yeah. another reason he's so fucked up and that's why vaught has a, a a very specific interest in his kid um because right they're like Hey, what if we give him what if we give let let's try homelander again we fucked up before mm. possibly possibly um i don't know with black black noir because we we mm. haven't seen homelander hurt everybody else is regenerating and shit but we've never seen homelander yeah. um so yeah. but um what i'm trying to say is um okay let's give let's give this next version of homelander a martha kent and hope it turns out a lot better this time so and i'm talking about homelander's son so that's why vault is so invested in this and that's why max is so invested in uh keeping all this shit under wraps so it's interesting yeah, it's a that, very interesting and there's also he's like a contingency planning case homelander homelander goes just going exactly, exactly. too yeah like contingency i'm thinking plan. like if if homelander went nuts what would he do yeah. right and I, and I talked about it a bit before right just kill whoever the hell he wants wipe out the public who gives a damn shit i'm gonna take over the uh, world kind of thing he would if he takes people out, kill his kid probably too. kill people at vaught no i don't think i don't think he'd kill From his what kid we saw unless so far, he his wouldn't. kid unless but, his kid provoked him in some mm. way that went over his limit then no he wouldn't if anything i think he'd kill most of the people at vaught with the exception of who he could tell, okay, look, fix this for me, clean this for me, kind of thing. Max, he'd be gone. Mm. He'd do so, that because he wants that power. He wants to be able to not just control people, but control how people see him. Yeah. He would want be, to raise his kid, I believe, but it, like you said, if he's provoked yeah, or Stormfront shows it out, I can see that. But it is very interesting to see, like, yeah, like you said, contingency plans. But I also, yeah. I've, I've been wondering about Max. I'm like, you know, he stood up real quick, the fucking Homelander, like that. Yeah. And I'm like, you know, and I thought he was yeah. just like he had balls, like it's the uh, balls of steel. But at the same oh. time, now we see that Black Noir is also, uh, might be his contingency plan. He might be the Black, yeah. the the Batman or the Bizarro or something that could stop Homelander if it gets down to yeah, that yeah. point. Yeah. You saw how uh, shook Black Noir was um, just a little bit. I mean, we couldn't really see his fucking face, but he was just like, wait, what? He's got a son? Oh, shit. Like, I didn't know about yeah. that. Wait mm. a second. Like, yeah, no one in the seven knows. So it's like, right. that's a secret that because the way Homelander plays it, it's like they don't keep secrets from each other. Now that you know that's what? a pretty massive that's a pretty massive secret. So what now, would that do? What but that's actually a good uh, point. I don't like, think what if what if Noir Queen May so finds out like, about that? Yeah. Yeah. Noir oh, seems because, so much uh, like the military I think man. That though. would happen. Huh? Say again. Like Noir seems like the soldier. Like yeah, like you we were saying, like we we're yeah. thinking he's a robot. I think he's like Max's soldier. Like yeah, like he's kind of like Seven a, a, is like a Captain front. America version of, uh, uh, you know, Captain America and Batman put together. Right, but again, again, if just he's the soldier, right? But what if he's the soldier that finds out that eventually he's trying to get replaced? That's yeah. it, that's so I he don't finds think out Noir about would get replaced. But he's but, one, but he's he is loyal too. He's too strong. But but Three, he is. He's friends some, with everyone. Well, but no, loves what, him too. no but loves what him i'm too. saying literally vault is raising another the future homelander that's the thing yeah so, uh, so you're looking planning. at it as what he's you know saying what i'm saying yeah they are planning yeah, ahead but, right they're planning ahead the next generation, and letting, yeah. letting the audience know hey look we have not just contingency plans but we have plans for the future yeah the plans for the future are always the next generation or right. a couple of generations down the line. It's so if they're able to do that with Homelander's son, then it's like, well, if we could do that, we could do that again. Or what if we do that plus X, Y, and Z? Then it's a whole nother game. 
So the supers they have now, it's like, well, like he, like Max said, you guys are a product. You know, you can be replaced yep. anytime, yep. which means they have people in mind. But if we look at the characters of the seven, right? Like the deep seems like he loved his fame. He loved his, he loved just being in they the all seven. Did. Well, Homelander, Homelander to likes controlling and being a leader. I don't think yeah, well, he, Black he liked Noir gets seven. a shit. Actually, come to think of it, I don't even get what Black Noir wants out of it all. He just seems like, again, the soldier Black that's Noir like... Black Noir just wants to be able to do his job. Do his job. Yeah. yeah. Just wants to do so his job. when it comes Which to Black. being replaced, I don't think Black Noir would give a shit. He's like, okay, whatever. You never I'll know. I think, think you, we, I think when you, you when your purpose is taken away, you just never taken. know. You know. Yeah. Like, you take someone's purpose, you make them a very, very unstable, um, and dangerous person or being because without that, you. Lose I mean, JJ, just think about the see. end of. Just think about essentially the end of the main part of the comic. And you kind of have your. Well, I haven't got that far. Remember? Yo, you I'm never like did. Oh, seventy-five okay. percent. That or and then look I kind of took a break. Light, okay. you look at Homelander. But I did. I did accidentally artists. look up uh, Black Noir on Google Image Search and saw okay. kind of the end. That's yeah, you didn't good enough idea. to not do that because it's like. I was I fucking hate that, but yeah, I fucked that. I rather so I kind of have an idea, but I'm not 100 sure. There's there's a lot of explaining. Yeah, it kind of if we go down this route based on our theories, (laughs) yeah, the ending of the boys essentially explains itself in terms of Black Noir and his um thought process. So (laughs) yeah, he's um, kind of like the end. Right. right. So, but I, I'm so. tiptoeing around that because it, it, it'd be too easy to just kind of uh, talk about that. Um, okay. I think we're going to wrap it up there. Uh, there yeah. we go. Uh, guys, yeah. thank you so much for being part of this. Uh, full reaction. Hey, no on problem. Thank you. Yeah, Patreon. Thank you. Uh, please uh, support the full reaction and uh, everything that's going on on Patreon. I think uh, we're going to be. Um, What's something I'm going to be doing recently? Uh, maybe the Mulan movie <laughs> with uh, the world of Cali. If you want to see our reaction to that horrible movie, um, we'll, we shall see. <laughs> but it made 250, 230 something million dollars from uh, uh, over the week, uh, opening weekend. Which is, on which is good Plus, which because is, they were great. saying that they think yeah, it's not going to get it back, but it it's is. It's great. But uh, doing that on Farm Patreon Farm definitely Disney. helps support us and it can afford some uh, better equipment for these two over here. <laughs> <laughs> it's audio man but we'll we'll, we'll make it happen i promise next week i should be able to improve it it was definitely a lot better than a few episodes before so uh we are steadily yeah. learning guys we are steadily yeah. learning so yeah all yeah. right guys uh, make sure you check out jj's um material uh on uh j-pop reactions and things like that uh yeah. j-pop also, reactions uh, yeah. some of his stand-up comedy might be coming at his channel fairly soon and um you want uh, a more arm <laughs> there you go. Um, and th- yeah, if you want some black jokes, yeah, dark goes jokes. dark from J pop. <laughs> yeah, J- you yeah. should check out the deeps YouTube. No, <laughs> <laughs> hey, dude, hey, dude, that's not cool. <laughs> that was so stupid. But- yeah, <laughs> that was so that's funny. Cool. Hey, dude, hey, guys, uh, go fight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then also, of course, to make sure you check out DC Sun's channel as well, uh, to DC Sun or uh, uh, his Twitter handle, as uh, he also will be having some videos coming up, uh, hopefully uh, within next week. Yes. Um, if you have any questions definitely, that definitely. you want to, very important. If you have any serious questions you would like, serious or fun, or if you really yeah. want any to get questions to know, you have or, or comments, please send it. Um, DM me on Insta yep. or on Twitter. And yep. I will be nice. compositing all the questions and answering all the questions and comments in one video. The video will not be edited. So yep. if I He's see you, I like all whatever, all that's how it is. <laughs> it's raw and unchanged. No, you love it. All right. Yeah. Guys, we will see you guys next week for the next episode of The Boys. We're out. Peace. Peace.